transfer from Bowling Green where he had one heck of a career with Bowling Green now an Alabama Crimson Tide member and a short kick and a fair catch taken by Alabama down at the 30 yard line Nick Saban told us yesterday his team still has not played a complete game here early in the season despite being undefeated and for more on that let's take you down to the field as we say good morning to our analyst Cole Kubeli thus far early in the season for Alabama he did not start the season opener against USC Calvin Ridley with the carry on the end around and he picks up seven for a first down Najee Murray the Ohio State transfer with the tackle as we see Alabama starters on offense 210 yards and two touchdowns this is Harris again Harris tripped up as he gets to midfield a gain of nine on first down James Alexander the stop Hench is the tight end enters the game a big stop for Kent State to Harris and Harris picks up the first down running over that left side a pickup of six so Jacobs first running back off the bench true freshman out of Tulsa Oklahoma and Hertz wants to throw it for the first time has all day and he swings it out to Jacobs makes the first man miss finally taken down by the second and third a gain of eight to the freshman Jacobs his first catch and and Hertz is playing with a ton of confidence so we'll see how often Lane Kiffin puts it on the air early in this one Bo Scarborough now in it running back Hertz will keep this one on the right side a blocker in front paving the way down to the 20 yard line a huge block from OJ Howard on the perimeter and it's a gain of 17. Boy you're going to have your way offensively. Opening drive for Alabama Hertz again another blocker out there he's got the end zone touchdown Jalen Hertz from 20 yards out. Kent State has a freshman quarterback, Mylik Mitchell, out of the shotgun. And he will hand it off on first down to Justin Rankin. He's got a big gain to the outside. Rankin down the sideline. High stepping his way inside the 30. And a big play on first down for Kent State. He's their best offensive lineman. Started 31 straight games. The southpaw with a shovel pass with his right hand to Rankin. And he gets tripped up at the line of scrimmage by Reuben Foster. It's a gain of two. So Shane Hines on to attempt a 38-yarder. Seven of nine on the season. Wide right. Opening drive comes to an end for Kent State. Three, second and ten now. And they leave it on the ground for Joshua Jacobs. Jacobs going over the top of Nate Holly, gain of 16. Tell you what, offensive coordinator Lane Kiffin, he is really, really fond of Joshua Jacobs couldn't believe that he was still on the board offered him and he decided to come right here to Alabama play action to him and they swing it out to Howard OJ Howard who had a remarkable postseason last year for the national champions has a gain of eight well, I think he's the best tight end in football uh, I don't know this kid has you know potential wise it's off the chart so here's Jacobs again bounces to the outside and tripped up you mentioned Jacobs recruiting when Alabama discovered him he had standing offers from Air Force and New Mexico State and I'm in full agreement with Cole third down dangerous pass caught and the extra yardage fought for right at the marker is Scarborough fourth and one they're going to go for it here Alabama has been perfect on fourth down this season Scarborough has the first down. Hertz wants it all. In zone, caught. Out of bounds at the one is Cam Sims on a beautiful strike that covers 31 yards. He is a talented player himself. Tenth play of the drive. Jacobs straight ahead and in. First rushing touchdown of the season for the freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mitchell, the lefty, heaves one downfield too much, too strong, trying to find Nick Holly. Howard shifts on the left side, hurts out of the shotgun now. Play action again, looking for Howard. He was open early, it's tipped, and he still caught it. It's a late throw, but still goes for 18. Jim Jones got his hands on it from his middle linebacker spot. <laughs> On second and four, slow developing, not for long. Joshua Jacobs fighting his way through. Touchdown for the freshman from 24. He got into the end zone, but he left his shoe in the field of play. 
Eileen Mitchell in Kent State trying to make something happen. He's pressured and will have to try to scramble out of this one. Flag on the play. Yeah, there's a hold. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. Number oh 93. Four man rush on third and nine. Incomplete off the hands of Rankin. DJ Emmons in at tailback. Here's Emmons on the touch, got blockers in front. He's got a first down, and now he has a sideline. Hard hit from Nate Holly to force him out after 17. Nick Saban played both baseball and football there. Second and 10. Toss to Bo Scarborough. Scarborough tripped up. Out there blocking for him was Calvin Ridley. To the outside and Sims second effort nice. to spin it upfield. Howard in motion. Here's Jacobs, another Alabama first down, another big one run for Joshua Jacobs. Montez McRae in on the stop, along with Jim Jones for Kent State. Just sitting there waiting on the football. Eliminate and find the open receiver. Here's Jacobs. Joshua Jacobs has more yards in this game than he did in the previous three games of his Alabama career. Uh, you have to take those sometimes as, as opposed to trying to force one down the field for the big play. Here's a toss to B.J. Emmons. And Emmons stays with it. I've been really impressed in this first quarter, Andre, with the way these Alabama offensive players are fighting for extra yards in a game that they're heavily favored in. I'd rather them throw the flag and be wrong that late it. that late though here's bj emmons at tailback trying to pick up a block and hurts swings it out to garrick dieter dieter towards the mark no my my point is you can throw a flag and rescind the penalty that's what replay is for too tight and hurts lost his footing under center we had this discussion with lane kiffin about a quarterback being under center at the goal <laughs> liner inside the 10 and he has it missed from inside 40 this season. And Alabama perfect in the red zone. They take three there after going backwards. 24-0 Alabama in front of Kent State. Miss Terry sidles in and gets right up next to me as Kent State runs a reverse here with Kavion Price. A lot of running. And he lost the football. Picked up by Alabama. That was going nowhere. Then he coughed it up, and he puts it right in the Tide's hands. Barnett started the first game of the season against Southern California. This is his first snap of the day, and he's pressured. And Barnett will get thrown for a loss, trying to get out of the uh, pocket, but couldn't do so. Anthony Johnson with the tackle loss of three. Third down and 13 for Blake Barnett. Kent State brings pressure from the edge. Barnett already sacked once, gets tripped up, and he's sacked for the second time. And after scoring on its first three drives, Alabama going backwards on the previous two. 49-yard attempt for Adam Griffith. First 20 plays of the game for Alabama, they had 209 yards. The next 20, they've netted just 69 yards. Griffith's got the leg, and he's got nice. the accuracy. Second field goal today for Adam Griffith. Ruben Foster is the quarterback of that Alabama defense. Low snap. Pressure by Mika Fitzpatrick and Malik Mitchell thrown for a loss. They'll give him forward progress at the 21. It's a loss of eight. Nick Saban admitted, say, listen, Mika did not have a great game against Ole Miss, but let's judge this kid based on what he did all of last year, starting every game en route to a national championship. Pressured again. And another sack. It was started by Reuben Foster, cleaned up by Ryan Anderson. Mm -hmm. Good point. Barnett gets turned around again and finally dumps it off and finds Joshua Jacobs. Something out of nothing there. Nate Holly, the stop gain of 15. Sims in motion, showing the jet sweep. B.J. Emmons on the right side. Holly and Cuthbert in on the tackle for Kent State. Nick Cuthbert, another stop today. I thought you were going to ask me, uh, did I have a 4.0? Mm. The answer to that was uh, no. I got one B. 
Over the middle, complete. Here's Howard. Touchdown, Alabama, 34 yards. They lose to Northern Illinois instead, and since then, the program has really faltered. Just 10 and 28 for a program going into that game, which had won 15 of 17 going into the title game. But it's a work in progress for this Kent State program now and going forward. Trailing Alabama 34-0, a low punt. We'll take a Kent State hop, and they'll let that one trickle inside the five, and it's down inside that five-yard line at the two. So Alabama will be backed up after a 56-yard punt. Freshman from Folsom, California. They run that right side and turn it up the sideline with a nice run is Joshua Jacobs. I mean, right there to right on on point is, is Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tight fraternity. Third down and 10. Barnett. Oh, tried to thread it in there. And Daryl Marshall was all over Trayvon Diggs. Had a receiver open at the top here. Mitchell pressured, he's sacked again. Minka Fitzpatrick had some help from Tim Williams. Hey, he's getting ready to hit the quarterback as well, about the same time that uh, Fitzpatrick hit him. Xavier Marks from the 25. Nice vision. Marks to the 40, looking for a block. He's got it, he's got help. Xavier Marks got to beat the punter. He beat the punter. Touchdown, Alabama. 75-yard return. On third and four, Miles Washington trying to lay the wood on Reuben Foster. You're not going to win that battle very often. Marks took the last one for 75 yards in a score. He'll let this one pass by, and Holly will down it inside the two. Well, that's one he's got to field. He's on him for down the road, and if that happens, you get it corrected right now so it doesn't happen when you're in a big time close game and you're giving up field position where that part of the game is what may end up costing you the game. Jalen Hurts took that last snap after Blake Barnett had been in at quarterback. And the first half will come to an end with Alabama in control against Kent State. 41-0. We'll hear from Cole Kubelik with Coach Saban coming up on the Cooper Tire Halftime Report. He can get after the quarterback, that's for sure. To throw it on third is Bullis. He's able to find Raquan James. This number on Jonathan Allen really impressed me. Think about all the great pass rushers they've had here. He's sixth in school history coming into today with 21 sacks. When we see those signalers, and uh, usually, Andre, most teams, wh whether you're sending in a real one or a dummy, Trayvon Diggs doesn't need a signal to get upfield. Whether you're signaling in real plays or dummies, it's backup quarterbacks. It does something for their ego to be able to spit out sentences that are, you know, three paragraphs long just to call a simple play. Here's Diggs on the jet sweep, and he's able to pick up the first down. Or the ability to adapt and change. And how about Nick Saban as well? Coach Saban adapting and changing and implementing some RPOs into the into his offense. Well, then you're not taking advantage of one of the great new concepts in college football or football as a whole. Hertz finds Derek Keith, first reception of the season for Keith. But it could be a quicker practice and less time on the field. Hertz throwing on the run again, and he goes back to back to Keith bunch here a little flat flag drag concept right out here Hertz trying to pump and go into the end zone nothing there will take off Hertz cuts back bends it to the goal line and gets tripped up by Kevin Byrne after a gain of nine BJ Emmons is the tailback oh play action Hertz fires after a bobble and a touchdown from one yard out on a pass from Jalen Hurts to Mac Wilson. Hoody Jones is in the game at a safety spot. Jared Maiden, I believe, was on the field the previous snap, and they're going to run it right up the middle with their quarterback, Bullis. This will be the second largest gain of the day for Kent State as Bullis is able to pick up Kent State's first first down. 
since there was three and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. On the end around, Cavius Price, the Boy. freshman from Bradenton, Florida. That Holcomb gets there. Gets by Mr. Holcomb. Blake Barnett in at quarterback now for Alabama. Working behind a new offensive line. B.J. Emmons rips one off. Hey, Cole, you know, one of the guys we ran into at the facility this week was a guy who had a hand in a national championship. How about this from Bear Jones, former Alabama center guard tackle, started at three different positions, winning three different national championships. <laughs> I don't know if there's another player in college football that can claim that. That is, a, that is an amazing stat. I'm going to say there's not. First and ten. And B.J. Emmons with the carry. Another true freshman. Led him to a state championship in 1983. His name was John Daly. <laughs> Pretty good. Grandpa Ray, by the way, will be playing in a tournament up in Birmingham next summer. Grandpa Ray. Oh, timing was way off on that play. B.J. Emmons and Trayvon Diggs collide. Timing was off on the jet sweep motion last week, and it led to a snap going directly to the wide receiver coming in motion who took it in for a touchdown. Since then, they've held the Golden Flashes to 38 yards over 33 plays. I'd say they made an adjustment. They go on the crossing route to Nick Holley out of the slot, and he's able to pick up a first down and into Alabama territory. Hootie Jones with the tackle. One of six sets of twins in the FBS. Looking for the jet sweep. Alabama saw it coming. Raekwon James, sophomore out of John Curtis in New Orleans. Sensational program down there with great people. I saw nobody on the sidelines, no walk-ons, no ball boys, no managers even messing around the entire practice. It was laser focused on every level through every single player. On fourth and five, they convert it, and it's a huge gain for Will Matthews, who takes it inside the 10-yard line. Empty backfield. George Bolas. Looking to throw, pumps, lobs, incomplete. You take the points down 48, and the Alabama defense has an opportunity to keep the shutout intact. Paul well, Haynes told us this week, defense wins championships. Can his offense score? Five wide, ball is flushed. Turns it upfield, he is in. Touchdown, Kent State on the sophomore scramble. In addition to the pylon, the other question is where is the ball when his knee is down and is it breaking the play? I'm not sure that really shows you that the knee is completely down. I mean, it looks there. After further review, the runner was down short of the goal line. The ball will go over on downs. It will be Alabama's ball, first and 10. And Cooper Bateman is now the third quarterback to take a snap for Alabama today. Under center. We'll hand it off. They'll get it out of the end zone. And a nice run to create some space. Back to Gore. Tackle by Najee Murray. Valuable not to have to worry about center quarterback exchange in those situations. Thank you, Cole. Diggs on the jet sweep. Loses two yards. He'll take off with it. Keith Holcomb in on the stop. He stopped short of the first down to gain, and it will leave fourth and one. Third and five, and a big run for Gore. So Lane Kiffin has played four different quarterbacks today. And I, having to deal with Alabama fans on a radio show every single morning, continuously trying to tell people he is underappreciated as a play caller. This is the third consecutive first-year quarterback that he's dealt with here for the Crimson Tide, and they continue to have success. And by the way, doing it with a true freshman trigger man this year. Well, Alabama gets the job done today against Nick Saban's alma mater, 2-0 now against Kent State. And for the Crimson Tide, and they continue an impressive run. Nobody has more wins in consecutive order against unranked teams than Alabama's 62. It's a 16-game win streak for Nick Saban and the defending national champions, a home win against Kent State. We've got more coming away from Tuscaloosa following Bama's 48-0 win over Kent State.